as a young senior airman, I remember sitting in airman leadership school and giving one of my speeches, and I shared with my teammates at the time that I want to be the first female chief master surgeon in the Air Force. That was a senior airman bass who the sky was the limit, and then you become the non-commissioned officer. And then, oh, by the way, you know, I'm married at the time and I start having kiddos and the demands of life set in that I was just trying to live and, you know, be a good NCO and be a good mom and be a good spouse that the, the thought of being a chief master sergeant, um, let alone the chief master in the Air Force, was just really um, nothing that I was aspiring to at that time. But what did remain was the desire to um, continue being my best so that was a very interesting day when um, General Brown gave me a call to let me know that I was selected as the 19th Chief Master in the Air Force. I remember telling him, sir, you know, I'm honored and I'm humbled for the opportunity to serve in this capacity, the opportunity to be his wingman, um, and he made the right choice. And to anyone who never thought they could be a Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, a Chief of Staff, or a secretary of the Air Force, or a commander, or a first sergeant. This historic moment is for you. I totally look at airmen and, and see myself in them. Um, they all have a story, and many of them are similar to mine. I came from very humble beginnings, and without a doubt, I've had many failures throughout my lifetime and, and throughout my career. But it's through those failures that there were huge opportunities to learn. Those learning experiences through the times where I stumbled and failed is really what has helped shape the person that I am today. When I look at the airmen that we have coming in today's force, I see huge potential in every single one of them. And it totally reminds me um, of who I was, which makes me even want to continue to work harder for them.